Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for your daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're not, you're brand new. My name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you in all of that. My channel looks at a lot of criminal activity, so you will uh, need to be forewarned that there could be times and will be times that the hardcore information will come across that uh, could be disturbing to you since it is like criminal activity in, uh, in, in the readings that uh, I target. I target like the occult and things like that just to get the nasty, wicked stuff out of the earth. Okay, it's something that I'm called to do uh, in the earth on this channel. It's a very hard, intensive work. And so anyway, if you can handle it, then great. Then, you know, welcome to this channel. Uh, I'm just a spiritual person, as you are. You wouldn't be looking at a tarot reading. Uh, I love the great divine of the whole universe who's running everything at his command. People call him the universe or the divine, and he is inhabiting the universe, and, and the great spirit is divine. I call him by spiritual, uh, scriptural name, which is found in the Torah. The scriptures here, it says honored on this channel. Uh, but uh, I call him Yehovah Elohim. He is the maker of heaven and earth, and I keep all ten of his commandments. And I'm not ashamed of him, nor am I ashamed of his son that walked among us on the earth in the flesh and who is the resurrection uh, I love Yeshua and outside of the Father there is no Yeshua which is salvation so anyway that's kind of who I am on my channel um, so you know you know, you'll just learn me as we go. Sometimes I feel energy and it's really coming through my spirit and I'm known to pounce on some stuff as well in a real intense way. Um, and, and, and so, you know, just, just brace, brace yourself and buckle up and, and, you know, if you stay, you stay. You were meant to stay and if not, I guess you will go away. It's your prerogative, but welcome if you do. Um, happy birthday, happy anniversary and all of that. So I'm already experiencing some energy now as I'm speaking to you all. Um, so just bear with me, okay? Because when I'm trying to read and, uh, you know, weighing out uh, to discern something that's coming through my spirit, wherever it's there, um, I could come across a certain way to you. So... Let's just discover what's going to come up to the surface. A lot of times on my readings, um, things will come out, and by the time the reading's done, things will be all unfolded. So we'll just take sections of things, and so just take what resonates with you, and, and the pieces that don't, then that's not for you. I'll try to be as general as possible as I can, because um, energy will flow in so many different directions for any given person. So... If you're in the upright, you're in the upright. If you're not, then you're not. Please just fix it. If you can't and you won't, please exit my channel. You ain't gonna like me. Uh, if you are new, I read energies both directions because we are dealing with um, we are dealing with both types of people. So today I did a reading on my um, was it the first reading that I did? I did a I did this is my third reading. One of those readings will take hours and hours by the time it's finally uploaded. We had wording, uh, we had the, the lying, cheating, babbling piece of crap again that came out today. It's just been over and over and over the last few days. It came out again today in my first reading, and we had the word deceive, and something about clothing was there as well. We are seeing in this picture somebody hunched over in the clothing and taking either a bribe or give, helping giving something to somebody this is a generosity card i mean obviously we have the skills of justice here so some type of truth would be here somebody's illuminated with something uh, or somebody was um cloaked in some type of deceiving clothing and there's some type of either payout or somebody's you know was set up and uh there was an investigation for some people that, that, you know, has been going down. We had a justice card in my second reading that was there uh, today. And we've seen the justice the last couple of days as well. So we, obviously I target that stuff on my channel. But there is something about somebody being deceived in some type of clothing. We have a pregnancy here as well with this one. This is also um, the torch, as I always bring out in the runes. For legal matters as well assured legal victory we had wording today that came out that the truth was known something was also going to come to the light about something I love Yehovah because you know he is just so tangible for him to bring out wording that somebody was cloaked in some type of clothing and the word deceive was over and we and then he brings a picture out 
uh, I love you, you are just so magnificent. So, so there's something legal though around some type of giving or sexual ordeal and somebody has, you know, done something with sex and got a payoff and dressed a certain way or they're in prostitution. Sometimes we'll have that come out on the channel. There's there's something here that would, would be around uh, something that would make some type of an illuminated knowledge within something spiritual that's even went down this pregnancy here um the truth is here uh, this travel this is money as well this is luck somebody's husband could be here this is the law okay so it is here some type of traveling situation is here let's just see let's just take some cards here let me take from this other deck okay somebody has been oppressed we also had um wording come out about you know, somebody who's got to oppress somebody else for their own gain, because this would be like a lot of money here, uh, that they would also, they'd come to not. Some, something, something's here, because we have a deceiver out here that's just over and over and over. Has also been waiting on something, because that was coming out in my other reading as well. That will is karmic. Okay, the justice scales, when it comes out, it's real karmic, meaning you're going to reap what you sow and none of us get away with anything, don't you know? So if you have taken somebody and oppressed them, you're going to come to naught, especially if you've oppressed them for your own gain, like the scripture says. His word ain't going to return to him. Boy, this is the letter uh, Yod, which is the letter Y would be here. It represents authority. We had that coming out also in wording today. Authority, we have bosses everywhere. We have people trying to get on the same page today this is the arm of Jehovah, and this will will go either way so if you've exaggerated about something it's still going to turn in the truth and you're going to get your karmic uh, piece of it all right and somebody going to get some type of justice assured within some ordeal because the truth is known the truth is known about something here what is this um what is the six of pentacles here please for Jehovah? what do you want to say about it let's say they plotted something here and that break down to, to two ones there. Somebody did plot something. They did on purpose. There's so there's the emperor coming out. The emperor and the empress was in the past position on one of my readings today. I think it's on the on the reading that's taken hours and hours. Uh, I'll try to remember to put that in the community section. It, it, eventually, it will be in in the community section. I'll just make sure that I do it. Uh, something about a boss or a father is here. If somebody is in the law and has cloaked themselves because this is an authority figure then fine this is war and we've seen a bunch of people today in one of my readings says just war was everywhere a bunch of people were warring and trying to get on the same page and uh, um to, to, to make some type of a decision, I guess. This is the Dalit, the letter D is here. And something about the day, the D and the Y, okay? In the runes, the day is a new beginning. This is a new cycle, a new change is what it means. We have it here with the wheel as well. A marriage and something that was plotted with that rune, with the uh, with the Degas that comes out. But the Dalit in the Hebrew is somebody's door is here going in and out and being weak and poor. And so if there's been some type of an investigation around some warish thing <clears throat> that went down even in the daytime or with somebody's boss or father or grandparent uh, or even empires and things like that, some, some type of a big time authority energy is showing up on whatever this generosity or this gift. Somebody had somebody's inheritance today as well. So somebody's father left an inheritance. It was stolen and then somebody was oppressed out of that deal. There's the truth. Yes, the truth is here. So we could find it here. We've got pregnancy issues. Really big. Uh, you know, one of the meanings of the Dalit can also represent the womb as well. It can. Uh, obviously the counter part to this is the empress which represents pregnancy and stuff like that but the, the door can also represent a womb uh, I never bring that out but it can have a meaning of the Dalit as well um, so somebody's boss is here some type of a warring or stubbornness or somebody was just won't give up on trying to figure something out and uh, maybe went in and, and cloaked themselves in some ordeal to figure something out in, in, in a very big way this would be somebody if they are at the top of their game and they're in the upright get up and give help and take a risk that something like that would win if they're in the truth because the, the great one would back them up to do something like that. Show me the ace of wands. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, the hierophant is here. Marital situations. Um, this is somebody's morals and ethics. Spiritual. Uh, this is spiritual teachers. This is spiritual teachers and, and, um, and uh, 
stuff like that as well. Th this hospitals, this is um, a revelation of something in the Hebrew. It's somebody with their hands up getting a revelation. And the rune came out today, which was the uh, elk, which is the letter Z. And it looks like somebody's got their hands up. That's the pictograph of the hierophant here. Um, so, so it's, again, you know, somebody has something. Because I have and I am, uh, I am having something. And somebody's going to have something that is rightfully theirs and they are going to have it um this is um I, I, just give me a second because i'm hearing um i'm hearing a godfather I and mean, obviously we got a, like a we've got a spiritual leader here i'm also hearing something about the mob is also here for somebody i'm not sure why it's just come through my spirit okay somebody's in the mob somebody got paid off to go do something there was a war around some ordeal then there was somebody was fake <clears throat> within some situation trying to scare somebody off with the scarecrow or maybe something happened in the fall time not sure but somebody's fake here though okay it's some somebody's fake in their marriage somebody's fake within society itself since we had a lot of people gathering together this is you know if you're dealing with organization the hierophant goes back to that somebody in some type of organization was fake they were cloaked within something okay this is also a wounded warrior card if we want to just take the general card for it so there's a lot of wands though here a lot of passion here so that's 20 wands then showing and you know the emperor has a wand and the will would also go back to one that's a lot of wands we have some type of a judgment on headship that is here today there's some, something about uh uh, authority that's here. So if you are new, this is the letter Resh. It's the head of something, a man or a boss. Okay, this is portraying a feminine energy. So if you got a, a, a feminine boss that um, you know even was cloaked, maybe in, in different apparel. Even if somebody's a crossdresser in this deck, I was bringing it out, bring it out with the Queen of Swords. She looks like a man. This is a dude look like a lady type of energy coming out. Somebody faking something. And I ain't going to be for everybody, but it's here. Uh, just because the, the, the rash represents a man <clears throat> or the boss or something like that. So um, if that's not prevalent, it won't be prevalent for you. This is a firstborn or somebody at the top of something is here, okay? But this is a judgment card, something coming right up out of the grave itself. Maybe somebody's tried to bury something. If it was a pregnancy within a marriage and somebody was, you know, um, fake within whatever that is with the hierophant, somebody got some type of real big aha -ah moment here about something. Somebody opened a door to something. We have, um, then we have... We have the H and the R. You could work for an HR department. We have a whore that would also be here. So, again, somebody was cloaked and took money for sex. Uh, somebody's husband's here, and somebody knows about it, and they're having an aha moment about it, then, then so be it. Okay? Um, <clears throat> show me the will. I feel like I'm supposed to take that out here. <clears throat> show me the will. Thank you. Somebody's hair is prevalent here as well. Because the head would be here, the head area with the rash, um, but the H and the R also make a, somebody's hair is real, real prevalent. In this deck, we're seeing nice hair on the emperor. we got long hair here uh, on the uh, judgment card, and then we've got it in the phonics. So somebody's hair might be prevalent to something, okay? Um, and then, you know, this is the Dal at the door, and we have the D and the R. The door is also prevalent in this reading, somebody's door to something, okay? Whatever that is, um, somebody has or had something here, okay? And then we have the HD for the head is here, and then we have the literal head in the resh out here as well. So somebody's head is here, and if that's sexual um, type of, you, I pay you off, I'll do something for me, but you give me some type of sex, I'll give you head, and that type of energy then would be here. Don't mean to be, um, you know, but that's here. I mean, we're all adults here, right? So we have a lot of money here on the um, wheel, okay? And so there is a lot of money, uh, assets, an inheritance card is here, okay? A 10 is also an ending that also brings down to a contract uh, as well with the pentacle and I've seen the pentacle today but there's a lot of money out here okay so we do have that um, around some type of ordeal somebody does have something they're they're greedy for gain 
uh, this is mine. No, it ain't. You stole it, you freak. Somebody stole something. There's the, and the head is different here. Somebody's, you know, and again, we had the elk come out today. That's amazing how you over bring some things out, man. Um, which represented a shield and uh, something happened, an impulse or a recovery or protection that's going to be granted from headship, I guess. And something did go down around some type of a, 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 a place where, you know, there's deer and stuff like that the d and the r still a deer out here as well something's dear to somebody as well somebody's held on with all they had uh in some type of situation then i guess so um but we do have a miser out here and somebody somebody's stingy on something this is a forcible overthrow we have the the um q coming out here this is governmental things we've got too much authority out here for it not to be governmental things going on in a very big way because really come out in a very big way today. Somebody's got some type of a decision. This is a force, and so is the will. The armor of Jehovah is coming out to do something because the truth is known somewhere because Jehovah stated so. It's amazing. Thank you, Jehovah. You just uh, say what you want to say. <clears throat> so we had something about, okay, a close. I made a statement that maybe somebody also stole somebody's clothes as well. Uh, we got a big bag of physical things and jewelry and money and something like that is here. Um, we got actually, and what I'm also seeing out here, the other day I did a reading, since we got so much about somebody's head and their hair and the head itself is here, we have it in the phonics. If, if, yet the other day... I did a reading and the Hierophant came out and the two people in the Rider way have bald heads. As if you're doing somebody who's bald headed, then something about somebody's hair or lack thereof for some of you all is prevalent. Okay. So, um, anyway, we got something about new clothes out here and fix the problem. So it's, I really believe people are trying to, but there's been war around it. Okay, because of something stupid that's affected a lot of people in some ordeal or your ordeal. Um, somebody has had a drug problem. Okay, well, their head's different. Okay, uh, somebody's backwards. They, they got some ordeal. So somebody was in some type of a relationship because we did see the ex there today. They had a drug problem. They were told you're either going to get something fixed or I'm warning you, I'm out. Okay, so there's addictions uh, around some ordeal. Somebody walked away from that, caused a war, something went down within it, then I guess so. Uh, if you're dealing with some type of fire energy, because we'd have a fire protection type of energy here, then that would be here. We have a drip, a drop, a melting. Uh, we also have a crop type of energy uh, coming out as well. Glass or glasses or broken glasses involved in something. It's obvious if there's a war around something, some, something sharp was here. Something about in the morning time is here. Okay, well, it's coming out, like I said, it comes out in the runes, in, in the meaning of the rune, in what's out here with the D and the Y. Okay, so something happened in the morning time, then we got the sun here as well. Uh, somebody does have mental problems, we do know that. And somebody's, their head's different. They've taken so many drugs, they've done some stupid stuff, and uh, something's happened out of some ordeal, and there's mental issues going on around somebody, and that you just don't oppress people just to be, uh, who does that? Why would you do that? Something wrong, okay? Something real wrong. So, we're dealing with children that have also robbed from their parents, and they became a um, companion to some type of a destroyer, okay? Caused a big war, they got in the mob, they did some stuff, and something's been destroyed. We got broken glass out here, and everything else, and a mental problem out of, out of the ordeal, and there's been bad oppression. So, he who uh, robs his mother and father and says, it ain't no transgression, the same is a companion to a destroyer. So, we of destroying energies or however that is so truth and clarity is here today people it is known uh, something is very much known somewhere um, we have um, something good well we do the sun represents it's going to be a bright future for some something's going to be overturned this is luck this is fortunate okay somebody's going to have the door open for some type of truth to prevail because somebody else uh, just literally lost their loving soul in their mind and they've, they've become a friend to destroying energy and it's just ridiculous so, so there's some type of grace and beauty that is here uh, we had in another deck I pulled today somebody who smoked a pipe 
pipe, okay? And so obviously if you're dealing with somebody who's got drug problems and they smoke crack or something like that or some type of real big time drug energy, then something about, or just, you know, obviously somebody, somebody's involved that's prevalent today. It's come out twice, two different cards, somebody who smokes, okay? All right. So however that means uh, for you. A lot of people do smoke, but maybe you just know one person that does. Um, the battle and warring energy is here. It is here. It's, it's showed itself today. And you'll hold this fighting. And it, something's going to be overturned in a very big positive way. If you if some somebody is um, known to ride a bike uh, or has a motorcycle or something like that, then a bike energy is here. Children then would also be connected to bicycles and stuff. Something about on a subway. <laughs> How many of you have been with me for so long that every time the emperor comes out, especially for, I don't know, months in a row, when on a subway would come out just every single video, this emperor would be there. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So something about on a subway or some somewhere where subways are uh, that has caused some type of situation to go down in a very big way. Uh, I guess there's something coming out of that. The door's going to be either opening or shutting on any given person inside this situation because you're always doing something today. Because the truth is finally known about some ordeal. Okay, there's the, there's the upper and the lower version of the emperor. There's the king of wands there. Okay, somebody has been bitter than they have. Okay, we had something specifically come out about a, a, a body of water or a pond today. And the temperance card was there, which would still be this house right there. And it represents a river. If you are seeing... Is two two cups there. You are seeing in this picture somebody's drowning and somebody don't give a rip. Something's happened. Some somebody paid off to do something. Then I guess something's happened. Somebody got destroyed in some way, shape, or form. Somebody's oppressed somebody in a very big way because they lost their beloved head itself. Somebody's literal head has also been beheaded as well. Uh, within some more doubt. sacrificing amazing because we do know that. When we kept seeing the lying card, okay, come out for the last set of the Cardinal Fix Immutable Sign readings, um, that has been very prevalent day after day after day, and so has this um, sacrificing room. Well, somebody is twice dead. They have lost their head within some ordeal. If they burn children, then they have. Okay, we had something about foster care come out, and then we had three pages there in one of my other readings today as well. There has been damages and debt and worry and uh, all kinds of stuff. Somebody did get pregnant, and initially they didn't want that baby, and something's happened within that ordeal okay however that's uh, come out so we have two h connections and again if you are dealing with somebody who's known this is fame and glory with hd so if you have you deal with somebody who's on television hd tv uh would be here as well anyway the q the h the d the r again two h connections and the y is also here this will come out for this reading guys just know the bottom line something's positive because the truth is known and uh, something's going to turn out so if you've stood the test in your truth you're going to get back everything that uh, belongs to you and i know that you know people who have died you can't touch that with money you can't bring that back but uh you'll hold is going to wipe your tears away and uh it, it's it's time to get up and do something and let you hold give you a new life today within whatever truth is coming to you um he stated there would be healing words and wisdom there for us and uh, he is going to make a bright future and your end will be better than your beginning even though you had to go through some real hardship today is a new day today is a day of salvation get up and just move forward and let Jehovah uh, bring a change to you he's working some things out for us guys and he's getting rid of the, the wicked and somebody stood up today in one of the uh, cards that came out and stated I'm not afraid of the wicked and that's what it's all about we don't have to fear the wicked Jehovah is warring and uh, going to win something and is going to overturn something in a very big way for you and I so let us proclaim it and stand in it and uh, we will get our victory because it's here Shalom